Look at this. Last summer, my parents booked a week in a cottage in the Cornish town of Lou, and me and Megan went down there for a couple of days too. But before that, I had a couple of days out in the van with Rainbow, and we went out biking and skating around Bristol, whilst Megan went to Hale in Cornwall for a couple of nights with her friends. I left on the Friday night in the van in convoy with Rainbow in his Renault Clio, and as ever, we left late, so we decided to stay somewhere around Rugby for the first night, where it was too late and too wet to film anything. It was a car park to a quarry turned nature reserve, which we had a quick mooch around the next morning. After a quick quick breakfast of cereal and locally sourced berries we set off further down towards Chew Magna near Bristol to ride a reservoir ditch that Rainbow had logged a while back. We parked on a bridge in between two lakes in the Chew Valley where we were going to sleep that evening and started to pedal to the spot when I actually got hit by a car. I was just gutted that I didn't have my GoPro strapped on to capture it. On the bike ride we found another ditch spot and rode that for a bit before reaching the famous Chew Magna spot. We left the spot after dark and on the way back went to a local pub for a few beers. In the morning we woke up to amazing weather and a lovely view over the lakes. We soon got dressed and ready to head into Bristol city centre to Ride Street and the local skate park. After making a beeline to the nearest breakfast spot and checking out some of the artwork down North Street, we headed to Dean Lane Skate Park where we got a few clips just before heading off into the city to ride some street. We finished the day at the M32 DIY skate park, which is a really cool spot, super unique and really well made DIY spot. We were shattered at this point and heading back to the vans, we were running out of light, meaning we had to find a park up in the dark. Despite being knackered, we still managed to get a couple more jibby clips on some of the spots, but we just couldn't resist on the way home. We parked up somewhere near Western Supermare, but this was too late to film anything. We had a barbecue when we were there and didn't get to sleep until late, which wasn't good because the next morning I woke up at eight o'clock with minimal hours of sleep to travel down to Hale to pick Megan up. Whilst we were there, we had a little walk on the beach because Megan liked it so much and wanted me to have a look at it. And it was a good beach, soft sand, clear water and great views. Though we then headed back across the coast towards Lou, where we turned up around three o'clock and I was that shattered, I fell asleep on the floor in the cottage. Just having a little walk. Turned up in Lou about an hour ago, got all our stuff in now. Parked the van a bit further away from the from the cottage because there's no parking anywhere right now. But there's free parking up here. So I'm just gonna take a 15 minute walk back to the thing, have a shower, and then we're going out around here for uh, somewhere to eat. So it should be nice. <laughs> knackered from all the driving yesterday but I went for that little walk we come back and then we went to a lovely little restaurant somewhere near the van as well actually where I parked it overlooking the sea the moon come up and it was uh, this really nice pinky orangey moon and it first rose should have got a clip of it but I didn't because I'm really bad at this if you've not noticed already I'm actually really bad at this vlogging and documenting what we do the plan is today is to go kayaking or something like that, some sort of water sports. I have a cream tea and a Cornish pasty. We've got one day, so we're trying to blast it all out in one day. And then hopefully go for a walk. I'm thinking going to the van, which is out that way. But I want to walk out that way, because down the river a bit, because it looks really foresty and nice and cool. 
It's supposed to be good weather, it's supposed to be shit weather tomorrow. And tomorrow we're gonna head off home and just head down the scenic route and go slowly home and just chill. Here's our pasta. Getting a boat trip over to Lou Island, which is that little island just over there. You get about an hour and a half to walk over it and then you get a return ferry. Quite excited, really. I like little islands and things. Just heading down into town for some fish and chips and some beer. Look at this. Amazing. It's just out the door. Wednesday morning, we're off, we're leaving the cottage, we're leaving Lou, ready for about a six hour journey home in the van. We're just sort of Taking it easy, might take a scenic route in Cornwall and Devon, because that's nice. Near enough, all packed up. Just gotta go fetch the van, bring it over here, put all the stuff in it and get going. Before we get going, we're just gonna nip into town, into Low Town. I'm gonna get some Pepsi to um, aid my fix. I'm gonna get some fudge from Rolly's Fudge, and we're gonna get cream tea before we go. I'll show you around the cottage before we go. This is our room. There's a little private room here. It sucks. Because that would be the one facing out on the front. Obviously, the owners saved it for some other. Then we've got our own toilet as well. In here, our own shit. We're on the third floor. I'll take you down. This is mum and dad's room. We've got a little ensuite in there. And then in here, this is the other room. And there's the third toilet. The skylight. Toilet, little garden, little whatever, kitchen. Megan. Dining room table, and all our crap on it. Doing a tour of the uh, cottage. Hey, mum, dog, dad. <laughs> Dad's mum, hey, dude, how's it hanging? Keep it wide, rip it out. It's that little. Area. Back there. Little up there. Little bit there. And you've got a little snuggly bear. Oh, sugar. Sat on the wall. How do you know that's a path? Chocolate one. We're still in Lou, just gone one. We were going to take the scenic route and chill, but it's got too late, so we decided we're having a quick walk now, and then we're just going to get on the main roads and just bolt home. Probably end up getting home sooner 
than we would have done taking a scenic route. That van doesn't do hills very well at all and we know for a fact there are some extremely steep hills on the scenic route. Last year in Ilfracombe, North Devon, I was in my little Swift and I was barely making it up the hills. That was a little scary. I know the van would make it up but it would make it up at about two mile an hour which would add lots and lots of time onto the journey which we don't want to do. So we're having a quick walk now because we didn't actually get to this part of Louth and we wanted to. So I'll show you what it's like. As we're leaving, literally as we got in the van, it starts to be. I've got my takeaway cream tea and my roly sponge. <laughs> we're having a little stop on the way back, a little cream tea. We were going to try and find a nice little park up looking over something, but. I'm really in a rush. We're in a rush. So we're in like a car park. <laughs> it's somewhere in the middle of nowhere, but it's nice out this way. Yeah, cool. Nature. As the rare Megan begins to feed, she clots her cream and jams her jam. We've broke down vlogging it, mate. My transit's died. Oh, God, the wheel bearing's bust. So we've chilled on the way home. We stopped. We had a Burger King. We had a cream tea. Took a long time just chilling coming home. Somewhere around Birmingham, around 8 o'clock, the wheel bearing's packed in. We had to ring the RAC. The RAC quoted us four to five hours to get here, which is crazy. But we rang someone else and they're coming to get us. We cover Ian Peterborough. He's coming to fetch us. I was just waiting on a call from him. And they've got to cancel our I RF RAC, huh? Yeah. No, I'm waiting for a call from Sean. Oh. Let's come in.